Hi everyone, welcome to this wood-fired workshop at Manor from Devon Cooking School on a beautiful sunny morning. Today we're going to be making a flatbread, a mushroom and za'atar topped flatbread. Very simple, it's going to use our regular uh, pizza dough but handled a little bit differently and cooked a little bit differently to make a completely different bread, really. So I've got the oven nicely heated up already. I've heated the floor pretty well fully, so that's sitting at around about 350 degrees on the Bushman Santorini, which tells me the temperature underneath the floor. Inside the oven I've got about 250 degrees, and if you can see it there, I've still got a bed of embers sat there, but they're, they're dying down now, and I think that's pretty much going to uh, do us for the whole session. And I'm going to start by heating up a pan, because we're going to be cooking down mushrooms and onions and a little bit of garlic to start with to uh, give us a nice topping. So the dough I've got, as I said, regular pizza dough, uh, it's been fermented overnight, but then this morning I've taken it out, it's had a few hours out, it's been sat in a nice sunny spot over there, so it's nicely risen, and now I'm going to handle it in such a way that hopefully we get a really nice bubbly texture in the dough. I've had it sitting in some oil, as you can see, in the bowl, and that's so it will fall out of the bowl, hopefully, without me having to disturb it too much. And I'm going to use heaps and heaps of semolina uh, to shape it on, and that's going to give a really nice crisp base, as well as making it easy to shape. So quite a lot of semolina going down there, as you can see, because the oil on the outside is going to absorb quite a bit to start with. And I'm just going to let it fall out of the bowl so that I don't have to compress it or mangle it at all. Though having said that, I am now going to compress it because I want to sort of dibble this out. And the oily top means my fingers don't stick to it. And I just keep lifting it a little bit there to make sure it's not sticking to the surface. I'm not going to do it all at once, so I'm going to do that much, and then I'm going to leave it while I cook the topping. So whilst that relaxes a little bit, I'm going to cook the toppings. Garlic, this is our sort of garlic oil that we use for pizza, so we often have some of this around. So this is garlic in oil, onions and mushrooms are going to go into the pan. <laughs> The floor of the oven is already hot, so I'm expecting this to go in with a bit of a sizzle. I've got a mix of regular supermarket mushrooms and also shiitake mushrooms in this pan, and I like the shiitakes for their really nice woody flavour, and in with a, a fairly generous amount of garlic, I think, to go with this. I want to cook these now until the mushrooms let out their water and the water evaporates so I get a nice dry topping. Hence I've got so many because they're going to cook down to uh, not very much. I'm going to pop that whole thing in the oven towards the back of the oven where it's hottest. Let it get nice and hot. And at the same time I'm going to warm up a pan here just to toast some almonds to sprinkle over the top. I'm going to let those cook for five minutes, probably with a stir after two or three minutes. I'm going to let this relax for five minutes and then come back. That pan should be nice and hot now, so into that I'm going to toss some almonds. The mushrooms are really starting to reduce. The onion is starting to lose its colour and cook, so we know those are cooking nicely. But I want to see that dry out a little bit more yet. So if we go back to this bread now, and what I'm doing here is doing a little bit of work, letting it rest, do a little bit of work, and that way I'll get a more bubbly texture than if I just sort of try and force it out. Uh, like I would with a pizza, for example, I'd, I'd be a bit more aggressive. Here I'm trying to be a little bit more gentle. 
and sort of persuading it to expand. Just that little bit is fine, I'll let it rest again for another five or ten minutes. I'm cooking these almonds just to enhance the flavour, so I just want to see them take on some colour. So that is perfect. That's Look at that now, it's really nicely reduced, starting to dry out. It's going to get a little bit more cooking, of course, on top of the bread, so I don't want to completely dry it out now, but that's perfect. Into that I'm going to add some spinach. Stir that in and let that cook and wilt down a little. The smell of those mushrooms now is really intense. Mushroomy, woody, garlicky, wow, oh, fantastic. The spinach should be nicely wilted down by now. Beautiful. So now when I cook this bread in a few minutes, I'm going to need a little bit more heat in the oven. So just another 50 degrees or so, so I've got a little a few sticks here, cut nice and small so they burn quickly and I'm going to really just add to the embers. So the embers are dying down now, they haven't got much heat left in them. I'm going to add uh, some fresh embers and that will give us another 50 degrees or so. And you can see where I've still got some live embers there. So I'm going to sit these pieces of wood quite sort of deliberately so that plenty of oxygen can get in there. Then a little puff of oxygen with the blowpipe. And in no time at all, we're up and running. As that begins to burn nicely, I'll sort of be pushing it down so it stays behind the fire retainer. And five or ten minutes at the most, and those will be burnt down to a nice fresh bed of embers. Whilst the oven is reheating, back to my topping here, and I just want to add at this point some parsley. And salt and pepper. And stir all of that in, and I do want it to cool a little bit before it goes straight onto the top of the bread. So that's fine that it's sort of sat here for a few minutes. So whilst all that has been happening, the bread has been resting, relaxing, and we're going to give it its final dibble now. So back to the bread. And you can see it's starting to, to bubble up nicely. So it should spread out easily. Now. So spread that more or less evenly over the bread. I don't really want to leave a lot of crust in this case. So I'm trying to push it to towards the outsides, but also to get a nice even covering. So now I've got a nice hot floor temperature. I want it to be uh, not over 300 degrees, but between 350 and 300 would be about right, I think. So we've got 272 in the middle there, 250 over there. 268 at the back so that's spot on and I want the air temperature with the door closed or mostly closed to be sort of up around the 250 mark so a nice sort of three to four Mississippis would be perfect for this those embers are uh, radiating quite a lot of heat direct heat so I'm just going to try and separate that a little bit to give it a bit of space between the embers and the bread even with the fire deflector in there the heat deflector in there you still get much more radiant heat on one side of the bread now i'm going to close the door and that will help to even out the temperature between the back of the oven and the front of the oven give that five minutes spin it around another three or four minutes and we should be done 
Let's check this bread out after five minutes. You can see it's nicely puffed up. It's starting to brown or browning nicely on this side but if you have a look at this side not so brown. Temperature is reading a little under 250 but that's at the front of the oven it will be a little bit hotter towards the back. I'm going to carefully carefully spin that around slide it back in and put the door back on. I'm not putting the door on really tight I'm just leaving a little gap so that any fumes coming off those embers can escape. The bread's had another three minutes and what I want to do now is just push it off the silicon to make sure that any residual moisture is taken away so if there is any moisture underneath it'll just be absorbed by the oven floor. So I'm just going to push that off like that and give that a final minute or so. Our bread should now be cooked. Nice and crisp around the edges, smells absolutely fantastic, looks fantastic. It's going to look even better now because I'm going to sprinkle on these almonds that we toasted earlier. I'm also going to sprinkle on a little za'atar and a final little drizzle of olive oil just to give it that wonderful gloss at the end. So that's our mushroom top flatbread. It's come out even better than I hoped it would. Absolutely fantastic. Smells brilliant, looks brilliant. If you've enjoyed this video, <clears throat> please subscribe to our YouTube channel. We do produce these videos on a regular basis and uh, we'll provide the recipe and notes on our blog and put a link to that below. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time.